the men in black kept things close with a strong vinyl run. Red October 77 Firebird was clearly the fastest shorty, but at times had trouble staying on the track. Now an untested Cadillac will try and make up the rest of the gap. Hi guys, it's Bridget. Let's head to the backyard. It's time to bump and run. Welcome to the backyard, I'm Chopper, that's Johnny. He's waving with the track, he's saying, welcome to the 64S Racing Channel for the backyard bump and run. Close sprint in our first tall boy match of the box office. Ah, but it's the men in black that get through and get to the finish line. Let's take another look at that sprint. In the near lane, we've got Red October. The 77 Firebird shorty last week gave him a good lead. Ah, but this one not able to get the sprint point. Instead, it's the Blues Brothers and the Acura 90 SX. But it's the Cadillac El Mirage that's able to get through the later part of the track. Across the bridge, through the spin out straight. And here come the men in black. They're back within one point of Red Dawn. Bridget, how does this bump and run tournament work? Here's how the bump and run tournament works. Each team has two cars, a shorty and a tall boy. Three teams enter each match, but only one advances. Last week, the shorties raced. Now it's the tall boy's turn. The team with the most points at the end of today's action will advance. MIB is just a point off the lead. Chopper, we've got our popcorn ready for act three of the box office. Bridget's got her popcorn. Johnny's got his yogurt. Let's bump and run. Cadillac El Mirage appeared to get the sprint point, then knocked the other two cars off the track and gets to the finish line. A 300 win, three to zero to zero. Watch the Cadillac El Mirage for the men in black in the near lane. Pulls out by a car length, wins the sprint bonus, but then watch it through the first turn. It's the Galaxy Offender. And it's lights out for both cars on the second run of the Tall Boys. So we're gonna head down to the final race with the men in black having built a two point lead. It looks like the El Mirage got another sprint point. It's all alone through the corner and into the finish line. The men in black win the box office. There you see Red Dawn and the Blues Brothers could not get it together in this tall boy match. It was all about that Cadillac El Mirage. It even got off to a slow start, but able to overcome. Overtakes the Acura NSX by a car length. And with that sprint bonus right there, seals up the second position in the run division finals. So next week, We'll turn to the sports page to fill the final playoff spot of the Backyard Bump and Run Tournament. I'm Chopper. On behalf of Fina and Johnny, thanks for watching. Back to you, Bridget. Thanks, Chopper. So that wraps up the action for this week. We'll have the latest fantasy standings on Thursday and the next match lineups a week from today. We hope you'll subscribe and tell a friend. Thanks for watching the Backyard Bump and Run on the 64S Racing Channel. Let's roll.